Hi everybody, it's Tom Lang from TC Helicon. Today we're talking about the Blender. The Blender is a multi-channel mixer and I.O. device that you can use for jamming in silence. If you're living in an apartment and you have your friends over and you want to make a lot of music, but you don't want to make a lot of noise, then Blender's the key to that. It has six stereo inputs, one, two, three, four, five, six. It has four stereo headphone outputs and each of the headphone, out, headphone outputs has their own mix of the six inputs so that if you want a little bit less of the bass player, a little bit more of the bass player, a little bit more me, which of course everybody wants, you can do that here. You just adjust it, select this input, or select this headphone, which is me, select this input, turn it up or turn it down with this single knob here. So in addition to that, it's also, like I said, a recording device to your digital audio workstation in your Mac or PC. It, uh, it's also iOS compatible, so you can record to your iPad multi-channel, which is really very cool. When I, when I say multi-channel I.O., it's if you're recording and all your friends are hooked up with their stereo instruments hooked up in here, they've got their headphone mixes, they can record to a digital audio workstation and each of their channels is individual. So you can go back and remix it after the fact and then have those really painful sessions where you have to go, oh, that part I played there, I probably shouldn't be doing that. Anyway. That's the uh, I.O. part of it. So let's explain these buttons here. There's a mute all, of course, so when it's time to just like turn it all off, mute. Then there's the Bluetooth pairing, and I want to mention this. Um, with Bluetooth, you can give each of the individual players their own mix from their phone. So if somebody's jamming over there, they've got a longer cable, they don't want to get over here to uh, reach over, um, they can just adjust their mix on their phone, and there's a free app from us that allows you to do that. And this is the Bluetooth pairing button here. Then there's the reset for when you've had a couple of jam sessions and the levels are all over the place and there's a lot of levels to adjust. Maybe if you've got everybody there, you can just press reset and it'll set everything back to a nice nominal level uh, without blowing your brains out. It turns the headphones down a little bit. And then finally, there's this interesting little, well not finally, but pre-finally, the compress button, which when you've got everybody going, you can press the compress button and it kind of gives it that little mastering tinge where it boosts the low level signals and compresses the top level signals so it sounds a little tougher. And that's actually kind of a lot of fun. And you can adjust the amount of compression per headphone mix. And finally, this talk button, when you've got everybody hooked up and everybody's jamming away and everything like that, when you want to stop for a moment and talk about the arrangement, there's always one or two people who are jamming away. And you can't, everybody would have to either pull out their earplugs, their ear, um, in-ears, or take off their headphones in order to hear what you're saying. But you just press the talk button and there's an onboard microphone here that sends what you're saying to all the mixes. I think we've covered it. At this point, it's time to make some music. Aaron, would you come in here and help me make some music? We're gonna make some music. And uh, maybe you'll hear what it sounds like in the room, and then you'll hear what it sounds like on the DAW that we're recording on right now. Here we go. Thank mm -hmm. you. 